Jean Carroll, the Adult Services Librarian here at the Oprah Public Library. Today we will be doing the Beachy Sand Candelabra together. I want to remind everyone though that our summer reading program is in full swing. It runs through August 7th, so you have plenty of time to stop by and pick up your reading log, or you can download it from our website. But as always, we'll have our $25 gift uh, certificate to Barnes & Noble. Uh, as a final drawing as well as a, um, a little something that we always give away to our people who complete their reading logs. So please do join us for our summer reading program and I am going to begin today's craft and uh, show you the materials and the stuffs involved. So let's get started. Welcome to our summer project. Uh, this should be a fun one. We did a candelabra back over the holidays and it was very popular. So now we are doing a summer themed uh, candelabra. This is what it looks like at the end. We have some beautiful blue sand and the candle on top. So when you come to the library to pick up your kit, inside you'll have everything you need for this project. We have our wine glass, candle, we've included some fun little shells to include on the sand, you have your little base to keep the sand inside, of course we have a bag of blue sand. I will warn you, it's a little messy and it will color your hands, but it does wash off. So try to keep it off your clothes if you can. And when you're done, I would recommend washing your hands right away and cleaning off your table. So again, it does wash off, but it's slightly messy. What else do we have in our bag? We have some twine. There's three strands of twine. Two of the strands will be on the thinner side and you'll have one thick rope size. So that's all the material that's included in our bag here. And now I will begin by showing you the order that the best way to start with this project. Now we recommend using a hot glue gun if you have one at home. Um, it just dries much quicker. Uh, I want to warn you that the wine glasses are glass. So when you're using a hot glue gun, um, just take care to glue the item you're gluing onto the glass rather than putting the glue directly onto the glass just so it doesn't break. You can also use Elmer's soft glue that's what I did when I made mine. So whatever you're comfortable with. The first thing that we will start with is the candle. And you can see from our sample that our candle just sits on top. You can glue the candle when you're finished if you prefer. But I'm gonna start with my candle and I'm gonna take one of the pieces of the thinner twine and I'm going to with my glue you can glue the candle and I'm going to start wrapping after I place glue on my candle I'm not actually gluing but you get the idea at home there's glue on my candle and I just wrap the base of the candle with the thinner twine. Okay, you can just move the twine into place before the glue dries to where you want it to be. And that would be what it looks like. Now I'm gonna set the candle with my twine off to the side to dry while I move on to the next step. So my next step after the candle 
is to take the other piece of thin twine and your wine glass. I would turn the wine glass upside down like this. Take one of the ends of your twine. I should also mention that I've written out all of the steps that will be included in the kit as well. I like to start off with tying the twine just to hold it in place. And again, if you have a hot glue gun, I guess the stem is a little bit thicker. You could apply some small dots of glue right onto the stem. Or if you think the glass might break under the hot glue gun, you can just glue the twine. Now again, I don't have glue, but at home you'll have glue just to keep it in place. And I have glue on the stem and I'm going to wrap my twine around the stem so it looks like this. The twine is a little bit frayed, just work with it. You can double it up and I'm just going to keep twisting and twisting with the glue. It's a little wet, don't burn your fingertips. And I'm just going to wrap my twine all around the stem of my wine glass here. At the very end, I have all of my glue. You can adjust it while the glue is still wet. And then you will tie off your twine here and let it dry. So now we have our stem finished. Then, this is the messy part. Is everybody ready? I have my twine here. It doesn't look very pretty because I'm not using glue right now, but this will have dried. I would set it to the side, let it dry, and then come back and do the part we're about to do now. I'm going to take the bag of blue sand and pour it right into the wine glass. Now I have my blue sand and I'm going to include whatever items I choose. We've given you a couple of sample items to choose from. You can put all of them or one piece. I'm just going to put one piece in now. You just set it in. Next, I'm going to take this piece of white styrofoam and I'm going to glue the styrofoam, not my rim of my wine glass because it's too thin. The glass is too thin here. I'm going to glue the rim and place it on top of the wine glass. I'm going to let it dry. After this has dried, we're getting close to the end. I'm going to flip over the wine glass. And I'm going to wrap the thickest piece of rope around the bottom of the wine glass three times. And again, for those of you with a hot glue gun, I would place the glue directly onto the twine and then wrap around the base of your wine glass three times and that will hide the base.
Now I've let my twine, my rope dry. I have my twine here and I have my thicker twine on the bottom. I'm gonna come back over and get my candle that I set to the side earlier to dry. And again, you can place some glue on the base of your candle if you want this to stay on your wine glass permanently. Now I had put the shell inside and when you turn it over, some of the shell items might end up on the bottom of the sand. So you can just kind of gently turn your wine glass until you get your shells to where you want them to be and they'll rise to the top. And that will conclude our project for today. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you'll submit your finished project so we can see what you've done at home. It's always fun to see what our patrons are doing. So again, thank you for joining me for this month's craft and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for coming to our virtual program today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And please do share your finished project on social media with us. We would love to see them. Thanks again until next time.